Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to install a water filter on the Keurig K Elite. This Keurig K Elite normally does not come with a water filter. They do sell a water filter and you're going to, they do sell two different kinds. This is the short handle, but we need the long handle. And the long handle is because we have a kind of a taller reservoir and it's going to snap onto that black thing. So here we have the tall handle. I'm going to put a link to it in my description of where you can buy it. Now it does come with two carbon water filters, but we got to do a little bit of prep work to the carbon filters before we install them in the handle. And then I'm going to show you how to install the handle in the K Elite. Okay, so you can buy extra water filters. They come in a box, they come in a package of two. You're supposed to replace them every two months. So that this will last four months. They come individually wrapped. Now there is a little bit of prep work before you install it in your Keurig. You're going to want to open it up. Now these are carbon filters and that's filled with carbon. So you want to let it soak, it says for five minutes. And your water is going to turn like a, um, kind of like a gray. But you can see there's even some little bitty particles floating around in there. But my water is definitely turning a, a light gray. That's that carbon dust. And there's even little bitty particles. I wasn't expecting all the little bitty particles. But there's some of that carbon dust coming out. But let it soak for five minutes. After we let it soak for five minutes, then we're gonna rinse it under the water for a minute. Okay, so it's been five minutes. You can see why it's important to let this soak for five minutes. There's quite a bit of carbon dust that's gonna come off the filter. Now I'm gonna go rinse it under the water. So now we're ready to install it in the Keurig holder. You're gonna, there's, a, there's a flat part here. The flat part's gonna go down towards that way and there's a curved part. So the curved part kinda of goes into where the handle is then it's going to sit flush. Then you're going to just line up these and they should snap. That's how you install the water filter in the holder. So it says these water filters help remove water impurities and enhance beverage taste. I know one of the things they do is if, you're, if you can smell chlorine in your water really bad, um, these do help remove chlorine in your water. Okay, so we've got the carbon filter prepped, ready to go. You're going to open up your reservoir. Now, I'm doing it with the reservoir empty, but you can do it when it's full of water. That's why we've got this tall handle. So you're going to push it in. We're going to snap it onto this black thing. Now, that is the intake for the Keurig. That's where all the water goes in to the Keurig machine. So by snapping this on there, and make sure we snap it, okay? If we don't snap it, if we just kind of set it there, it'll start to float and your water will bypass the filter and not go in through the filter into the machine. So make sure you snap it on. Now the water, in order to get it into the machine, it's going to have to go through the filter. And it's got a nice tall handle so that we can reach in there and change it anytime we need to. Just a quick video on how to install a water filter. I do recommend buying the Keurig brand tall handle water filter. Thanks everybody for watching, and if you could, please like and subscribe.